All right, guys, welcome to Fidelity Active Trader Pro. I just wanted to take the time to show you how to actually use the platform. And you'll see that the box on the right, you can see that right here is the Direct to Trader Pro where you can trade. And I have a second one right next to it as well. And then what I'm doing is I'm day trading Tesla, but I like to have two boxes up so I can make quicker trades. In the bottom left, you can see where I recently filled, where my exits are, and what my size is. So I have 702 shares currently. And then my purchase price is 185.04. And as you can see in this trade right here, you can see that I just made a trade. I'm hitting today to refresh it. It says $53, now I'm up. So I was down $7 and now I'm up $53. So now I'm placing my next buy order at 185.03. I'm getting ready to buy. I just have to hit place. So I hit place, I can fill on the bottom left at 185.02. I immediately set the sell order just seven cents, four cents up, because I'm just trying to show you guys how these trades actually work and how it looks on Fidelity Active Trader Pro. Because you have to use these little boxes here, the buy 1,000, sell 1,000, and you can see that it auto-populates what you're selling. So I made another trade, I made a couple dollars, I'm up $87 now instead. Now I'm looking, I have two charts, the one on the left is my one minute and the one in between here is the two minute. And as you can see, I'm getting ready to buy again. And looking at this, I am getting ready to buy at 185.03 again, but I'm looking at this two minute chart right here. Actually, it's a five minute chart, sorry, I didn't realize that. So there's a five minute chart and it looks like I'm trying to adjust my next buy order for this because I think it's going to sell off a little bit lower. You can see I have resistance there at 184.67 on the red line. And I'm going to draw a support level at the previous green candle. And I'm drawing it right up there at 184.84. And that's my next scalp opportunity. So as I hit buy, you notice that it automatically populates. I just entered the trade at 184.87. And now I'm already placing my sell order just to show you. I have 184.94. So this is only going for seven cents, but it's just showing you how Fidelity Active Trader Pro can work if you're using it. I wanted to put in some live trades just so you guys can get a feel for it. Currently on the top right of the box, you can see that I am up $87. We currently are in the trade. Oh, and the trade just sold right there. So now we just made a profit of, we're a total of $132 for the day. So just using those two trading boxes, you can actually quickly make trades. You can buy, enter, and exit real quickly. And as you're looking, you can see that you can buy, you can sell, you can, on the bottom left box, you can see what, where you're filling at. And then I have the positions tab in the middle so you can actually see where it is. So this is just a quick tutorial on Active Trader Pro, just so you guys can actually see how it works. And I think it's good if you haven't downloaded it just to see like what active trading really looks like and the amount of shares you can buy, et cetera, as you're trading. But that's all I have for you. I just wanted you to see it. I thought it would be good for you to um, just get an idea of what Fidelity Active Trader Pro even looks like on a live uh, transcript right here. And you can see the buy and the sell orders going through. And then you can draw resistance lines like I just did. And it allows you to really get a better view on when you're trying to make a trade. I like to use the one minute chart on the left, which is what my arrow is focusing on. And then I have the five minute on the right side as well. All right, so I just wanted to slow it down and show you what I'm looking at. So this is my trade box right over here. And as I hit buy, I have these six limit orders that you can fill in. I have a video that shows it. I'll, I'll post it at the end of the video. But if I hit buy 690 shares, you'll see that look, my, my price is changing because it's switching to whatever the ask price is. So as I hit buy now, it'll keep changing the price. So it keeps you, if you want to buy and then you want to sell, you can quickly do this instead of having to wait, which is a really nice feature. That Fidelity Active Trader Pro offers. You can zoom in, you can click here, you can zoom in on this if you think that maybe this is the bottom, you're looking at it and you're looking at these wicks. You can look at the wick here and you can see right here where it says low. The low of this is 
So that gives you an idea specifically how low it went. You could draw a resistance line with this, clicking up here, and now it draws a line for you so you can see where the absolute low would be. And Fidelity After Trader Pro, like whenever I use it, I have a one minute, I have a five minute. You can bring up the bigger candles to get a better idea. You could do a 15 minute view on it to see you know where it's been. You can change all the time frames, whatever you want. You can make it 30 minute and it allows you just to get an overall better look. You can change it to 10 days from now, whatever you want to do to get a bigger picture of it. The thing is when you're using these trading boxes, this allows you to be much faster. So as it's selling off, I can pre-populate what I want it to be. I can put it at 05 if that's what I wanted, 184.06, and that will allow me to potentially make a trade if I want to based on what it's whatever the price is. And if I just want it right now, I could just hit buy now. And all I have to do is hit place and it'll let me place the order. So I think that's a nice little feature that they, they give you. And you can make a little boxes like this, like this indices over here. You just go up to, let me see here, trades, options, alerts, news and research, and then your layouts. So I just wanted to show you that live trading, you can definitely be a lot faster than using a cell phone. So I'll show you another one. Let's see if it sells off below the 184 level. And look, I'm hitting buy now. So just look at my limit changing right here. My limit's changing, it's changing. I click place. Let's see where we fill. We didn't fill yet. It's 183.95. Just waiting for it to pick up now. If we don't like the order, we can always cancel it. But look, I just filled at 183.9. And now I can type in, let's just type in 184. I can hit sell because that's how quick it is using the buttons. And now you can see that I have the sell order in at 184. And now as you're watching this, it'll tell me if it fills as we're going. And then this is the, the tape that is trading, which is nice. So when you're using the AccuTrader Pro, you can have multiple charts up. You can have what your gains are, your losses are, whatever it is. You can have news right up here. And then you can also put in like last 31 days. You can put in today if you wanted to. And then let's say you wanted to, instead of, say you want to put a stop loss in, you could do this. You could have the order, you could put stop in, and then you can type in the price that you want it. Let's say 183.6, because you think, okay, this 183.59 is the low. You could do that as well. So let's see if it fills. We're still waiting for this to get filled. Oh, there you go. So there it just filled, and I sold a couple cents up, and now I'm up $100 in the day. And I'm using the support level here to make my decisions on buying and selling this. But this just gives you quicker trades, quicker confirmations than using your cell phone. All right, guys, thank you for watching the live uh, trading on Fidelity Active Trader Pro. I have other playlists on here that you can look at Fidelity Crypto, Fidelity Active Trader Pro, tips and tricks, simple investments for the long term, investing ideas, and feel free to check them out. All right, thanks.